What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, and I have a brand new Captain Combustible deck uh, that showcases this legendary right here. This is the Colonel Corn. Uh, he costs eight. When played, do four damage to each zombie. So that sounds kind of, uh, kind of pretty powerful, but kind of expensive as well. I hope we can get to it, and I can play it, and maybe wipe out some zombies. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to go, but the Colonel Corn is from Garden Warfare 2, and uh, I have him in a, in a great Captain Combustible deck that I think is going to work out just fine. Uh, one thing to know, uh, to note, um, I don't think Captain, I mean, I was looking, and maybe I'm wrong. This is a little glitch right here, uh, but I don't think Captain Combustible has any amphibious. So, I'm gonna have to uh, try to adjust to that, and the way I—I I mean, I can deal damage uh, directly with some of this stuff. I hope I do. Uh, we'll see how it plays out, though. Uh, really, the only thing I have that deals direct damage is this guy, this guy, this guy. Then, of course, uh, this guy. But they—they all cost a little bit, you know, on the higher end of the scale. So let's jump into this. Let's play uh, ranked match. See how I do. I'm not so—I'm not entirely confident about this, uh, but we'll—we'll we'll see how it works out. Um, I hope that I can make a difference. All right, here we go. This is a noob, but again, don't... Uh, I, I, I made the mistake of underestimating level ones before, and it's gotten me close to death. So let's just play it like we would play it normally. And the reason why... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cycle him out. I don't expect to be able to use him yet. All these are way too expensive right now. Anyway. Yeah, the reason why is because, uh, you know, I, I think the starter decks are pretty well-rounded, and they're using those, and... You know, I'm trying out new strategies uh, that I've never done before. So, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's very valid to try to try to, to deal with it that way. I he gets to play first. God, I wish I could block that, <laughs> but I can't. So I'm gonna get hit for four. All right. Well, I'm gonna put up, of course, the cabbage pult. Of course. Uh, all mushrooms get plus one plus one. That's a pretty good thing. So yeah, he kind of has me on the defense already. Uh, so let's go ahead and play this guy. I'll take him out, but he will survive. Um, I don't know if he's going to play a trick to boost his uh, photographer. What's his name? Paparazzi Zombie. Uh, mo oh, God. See? See? This is, what, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is, this is some tough stuff going on already. I'm going to be dealt seven damage. And I mean, this is like a pretty... I mean, I, I literally could have not really done anything else. I, I need some like low level damage or something, but this is just getting crazy on me. Um, there's the amphibious. This is really really bad news for me. Uh, I'm gonna play this here. Give him you know a little boost. Oh jeez. So that's a four. If he doesn't block that, he he might start to be in trouble. But I'm gonna take five damage here. This round's almost over for me, and this is why you know you don't underestimate the level ones because they are they are dealing with uh, some pretty pretty pretty. Man, I am almost, I'm seriously almost dead. <laughs> I'm like not even joking, I'm almost dead. Oh my god. Um, so I really gotta plan this out. Um, the grape's gonna work, I think. Uh, geez, I wish, I wish something else would work. Uh, but the grape's gonna have to work for now. Do one damage to each zombie, just play it. Just take that out. There we go. And then he, he's not gonna be able to kill me, but I'll be able to take... I mean, he's going to be able to take my grapes, but my cabbage pult still lives on. And I just really got to worry, because what if he puts in a, another amphibious, and I'm probably going to be dead? Uh, I don't know what to do with that. Um, you know, really, I'm the only real thing I can do... Um, you know, I could... Jeez, what? I don't even know what that is going to do. It could bounce me. I'm, I'm going to block something anyway. Jeez, Louise, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play this here and play this here. Gravestone with deadly. Okay, you know that's not so bad. That's not so bad because uh, this is like do a bonus attack or something. But uh, that, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna block this. Thank goodness. Do three damage. I'm gonna. I'm actually holding on to that. Um, in case he plays an amphibious again. All right. He hasn't blocked it all yet. So watch out for that, because he will soon. Um. God. 
All right. So I, I'm gonna have to block this. You know, basically I'm trying to get like everything fully loaded. This is a plant gets plus four. Uh, so yeah, actually I will give him plus four. I'll give this guy plus four. That's gonna be pretty pretty big, right? A 6-2 there suddenly. That's pretty awesome. But, again, I don't know what he has planned. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't I don't quite understand how these, like, level 1 guys are so... Oh, man, I sim... Oh, hmm. I should have gave him plus 4, to be honest. Oh, he blocked. He blocked. What is he going to do? Draw two cards. Okay. It's 4-7. to seven. It's really close. Oh man, it's too close, really. Um, geez, okay, I might die. Just saying. <laughs> uh, so this is interesting. Uh, when played, do two damage. So do two damage there. And then, uh, you know, do three damage to a zombie, sure. Let's see what happens. I don't know what, what's Gravestone Deadly. Okay. Gosh, man. And he might have a trick to win it here. I don't know. Draw two cards. Okay, that's not so bad. This is just one of those things where it's going to really come down to the wire here. If I can get lucky enough to pull off a seven attack, because we cancel each other out there. He's still alive in the middle. Ugh. Yeah, this is this is definitely, yep. Yeah. He's definitely uh, trying his best. All right. I just don't know what he has planned is the thing. Move that guy to another random lane. I don't know. That seemed like a waste of dealing five damage, but we'll see. I really need to pull off, you know, these attacks. I don't know what he's gonna do. And I haven't even gotten my corn yet, so. I mean, I had it, but I discard, you know, I switched it out initially. I don't know what he's gonna do. If he gets hit for four, then I could I, I could still win this. But if he does something to block it, then I don't know. I wonder if he four. I wonder if he quit. I'm gonna be sad if he quit. Or if he had like a legitimate disconnect. Oh, these victories like this are never fulfilling. Yeah, wow. He conceded, he disconnected or conceded or one of those two things. Wow. He may have seen that it was over and just exited or he maybe had a legitimate disconnect. I th Those victories, those type of victories are never fulfilling though. Uh, so I'm gonna have to try again. New quest. All right, let's see what happens. That was for what, 100, 100 gems? So I get one, do I get a win streak? I don't remember if I won last time, there we go, yeah. Okay, so let's see what happens next time. All right, here we go. This is against a level 19. Again, this is not a proven deck yet. I, I, It may not be, you know, all it's cut out to be, just being honest. This seems like a decent startup. I maybe should have cycled out that four, but I don't know. Having it now is not a big deal. Nice. I have the thing that does three damage. We'll see what he does. If he plays first, then I play. All right. I might just do these uh, these two puff shrooms or whatever. Not bad. It does two damage uh, if they're both left left alone. All right. Uh, let's see. Two. Oh, there we go. That's actually a, that's actually the perfect follow up to that. So, uh, 
All right, let's see what he does. He has two that he can use for a trick. I can't believe he's not blocking these. I don't know what his strategy is, but it's, it bothers me. <laughs> All right, here comes three. What do I do? Depends on what he, okay, he's gonna block that, maybe. I don't know what that is, so let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, I'll put down this. After combat here, does a bonus attack. That's a pretty good one. Oh, and reveal, move the zombie. Where's she gonna move? Man, if she moves all the way over to the to the left, that's gonna be annoying. It's gonna take out both of my mushrooms, but that's okay. We're gonna take her out too. All right. I'm actually dealing a lot of damage here. He blocked one. Draw two cards. That's a good one for me. All right, hit him twice. Or once, once more. All right, let's see what he does, because I don't know. So far, this is uh, this is kind of working in my favor. All right. Uh, again, I can't do much with that, so let's see. Um, I'm going to do this. Pair of pals. This is the same thing I was dealing with anyway. Oh, Gravestone Deadly. Nice. I don't think I'm going to get two attacks, though, but still. It's a good one. I mean, so far I'm winning this one, but I haven't. I still haven't got to use the the, you know, the main thing I'm I want to use. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, this card is you you know all, all plans get plus two. So let's see what happens. Man, another, God. All right. You know. Um, I'm trying to just think about what I want to do here. And, uh, you know, uh, putting this here, then putting this here. Move a zombie. Uh, yeah, move him, move him over, and then I'll give everyone plus three. Or plus two, I mean. All right, nice. This is not so bad. He has a trick, though, so I don't know if he does a bonus attack in the left lane, then that will uh, clear those guys out. But I have enough to win this one here, just depending on if he blocks it or not. So he might move that, you know, who knows. Yeah, that was a wise choice. So I take him out. I also take him out, but he takes me out there. He's probably gonna block one of these hits. Uh, no, yeah, he did. Okay. All right, so we got to be careful now. I could go totally defensive. Um, I mean, he's going to lose. I don't know what what else to do. You know, he's going to lose, so... Moves to another random lane. No no, thank you. Graves, yeah, he's going to lose. But I didn't even get to play, like, the corn that I want to showcase, so... this one. I have two of them in, in this deck. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He got me, whatever. I win. Whatever. All right. But I won that one. Uh, so yeah, I didn't get to play the, the all-star. Well, not an all-star. The the Colonel Corn is what I'm, I'm trying to play. And uh, hopefully we get to, you know, I mean the whole point of this video is to showcase him. He's in my deck. Sometimes just the fact that he's in my deck might bring good luck, right? All right, let's do another round, please. I'm almost to level 17. Oh, it's a level 40, holy goodness. How do I even deal with that? This could be very, very bad for me. All right, now she's gonna have some amphibious and I gotta be aware of that. This is actually gonna be very tough for me, I think. But, uh, so, you know, someone who's level 40 has played a ton of online ranked battles, so they're, they're more familiar with what they're going to go up against. And so he, he might be very familiar with my strategy of, you know, playing mushrooms. And, oh, man, I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect. So uh, let's see what happens. I could probably, probably lose this one. I mean, I'm not going to go in with a losing attitude. I'm just acknowledging uh, the truth <laughs> that I could lose. I'm just waiting for him to, to redraw. Oh, man, are we serious? Are we serious? 
I was, I mean, I was antsy about this game, just being honest. Okay, he got scared of me. It's also possible, and I mean, it could just be possible that like he, this this other player knows his weaknesses and he sees Captain Combustible. He's like, nah, I'm not good against Captain Combustible, and uh, he'd rather, yeah, win a Solar Flare. Uh, it says one of one, but that has not happened. Anyway, go up to the 17. Yeah, 17. That's pretty cool. This is uh, that's also kind of an explanation for how some people might be so high leveled. But we'll try again. Ranked up, yeah. All right, level 31. Man, I'm these higher level people. I always get nervous. I mean, I get nervous anyway th before these battles because it's such a tense game. It's such a and it's kind of a slow paced game. And so I do get a little nervous about it. I did throw in double mint. I think that's a great choice for me, honestly. Doubled mint. Uh, let's see what happens though. I'm gonna hope I'm gonna hope to uh, protect doubled mint in some fashion. Oh man, this is a this is a good one. Um, I'm gonna see what he does. If he doesn't do anything, I might not do anything either. So he has a trick. Um, I don't know what his trick is, so... Ah, uh, jeez. Um, uh, okay, I'm just trying to think, like, can I pull off anything really amazing here? I mean, maybe, but he might have... See, he probably has the thing to take me out, so... Hmm. Draw two cards. He maybe was just waiting to, you know, use like a damage or something. I don't know what he was gonna plan on doing. I made me nervous though. Let's see what happens here. All right. Now, um, you know, again, he's holding on. I'm gonna put this here. Play this. Maybe, okay. Again, if he does like a quick damage, then I know that he was waiting for that, but he wasn't. So he's, he deals three. Nice. I'm gonna try to protect that four with, um, however I can with sweet potatoes would be a good way to do it, I guess. Uh, okay, he blocks it there, okay. And he has a bunch of brains for tricks though. That That does bother me. Goodness. Um, man, though. Um, hmm. <sighs> Jeez. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think here what I need to do. I might play doubled mint here. All right, let's see what happens. This is this is really risky. I don't know what he's gonna do. I thought he had, you know, fewer brains, more brains, whatever. I'm gonna get hit for four. I might be overthinking this whole thing, which sometimes happens when I start going against other people. I kind of freak out a little bit. Doubled mint is really good here because, you know, he doubles. But I have some real protection going on too. And then I'm gonna give the sweet potato a four is plus four, I think. And then I'm gonna do this. Nice, the zombie does a bonus attack. Are you gonna have do the bonus attack? Probably the chimney sweep. That would make the most sense, of course. I'm gonna deal eight in the middle lane. Yep. I'm gonna get like five damage. Unless I block one of these. Nice block. Do three damage to a zombie, which I really like the idea of. Um, just taking out, um, taking out maybe this guy. There we go. It's seven to 10. Very cool, to be honest. That is a, such a great thing. Plus one in bonus attack. You gotta love that. Oh, 
jeez. Oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do that. Let's see what he does though. Yikes. Yikes. Man. Tough stuff. Uh, I'm going to put this um I mean, I don't really know what to expect, but I'm going to do something along these lines. I'm going to put this guy here. I'm going to I'm going to do give him the 1/1 one, one and does the bonus attack. So because then he's a four in that lane. All right. Here we go. Still haven't got to use my corn yet. All right. He's drawing a card. He's also dead. He's going to have a lot to deal with, just to being honest. And I still haven't got my corn. I don't know what to do. I mean, this is an obvious solution, but I don't really know what to do. I mean, like, I'm also disappointed that I haven't got Colonel Corn yet, which is just two damage to each plant is gonna be devastating. Gosh, darn, man. Two damage to each plant. That kills most of them. It's a pretty good card, unfortunately. Man, I really could use Colonel Corn coming up soon, man. <laughs> Just saying. It's a 1624. He's just gonna have to outright destroy that soon. Oh god. Alright. I don't know what his trick is gonna be. He could outright destroy my doubled mint. Great. Great. This is bad. He's going to hit me for six. I don't know what he's going to do when he blocks this. this is, it all comes down to this, really. Do three damage to a plant. Okay, that's actually a really good one. A victory for me, again, without even seeing the Colonel Corn. Man. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is fun gameplay, but my whole point was to showcase the Colonel Corn, and I haven't drawn him yet in all these matches. All right, a level seven. Again, don't, under don't underestimate anything in this game. Uh, let's see what, I mean, if I, I think if I have the Colonel Corn in my starting deck, I'm just gonna keep him. I'm gonna cycle out the things that are kind of expensive here. That works. Rust Bolt, gotta deal with him. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, now, I don't know what he has planned, but I my plan is to try to just quickly get my plants going. He might just destroy it though, who knows. Nice, he's gonna be a 2-2. Two -two. It's wonderful. Um. Oh, I finally got the Colonel Corn. Now, if I can make it to, la to last until 8 Sun, then holy goodness, that'll be great. But I may not be able to. So I'm going to need to do this. Do 3 damage to a zombie. Can't really play anything else. He's going to be a 3-3 three, three soon, which is really cool. All right. <laughs> Now, I don't know what he has planned, but he, there's a 3-3 three, three there. That we're going to... Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to play the Punish Room. Actually, I'm going to play the Doubled Mint. I don't quite know what he has going on, but the Doubled Mint would be really good right now. He might be able to take him out. I don't know. He's going to have to really consider it, though. I mean, this is almost more like a Doubled Mint showcase. <laughs> 
All right. Yeah, I guess plus five. That's a really good card then. Um, but I do live uh, to the next round, so that's cool. And also this guy doubles, which is also cool. And I can do another doubled mint, which is even cooler. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, he's gonna be hurting. Um, really what I need to do is be sure to take these, since they're both gonna die, I can't really move them. I need to be sure to take them both out. We're gonna cancel each other out here. But this time I'll finally get to play Colonel Corn if, we, if I last long enough. All right, now this is where it kind of gets crazy because I'm gonna have to really, 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 you know, figure out what he's gonna do. Um, Uh, so this is my plan right now. Uh, move a plant. Who's he gonna move? Great. Uh, let's see. All right, figures. Let's see what happens. I don't know why I moved him there, cause he's gonna hurt me, but I'm gonna take him out. All right, that's fine with me. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Um, this is a uh, this is a three three. It's a great, great opportunity here um, for me to really just kind of go at this, and it's going to be, I think, really, really, really fun. At the same time, protecting punish room would be a good idea, but you know, having doubled mint is an even better idea. Uh. You know, a 3-3 for double mint is such a great thing. Right off the bat, that makes him a very strong contender. I think I only have two of these guys. Do I have two or three? Or... I don't know how many double mints I have in this deck. He has a lot of brains left. That bothers me. The space cadet's coming in. He's going to take him out. All zombies get plus two. That's actually really good. But uh, I'm going to deal four damage there. We're going to trade a lot of uh, kills. He's dead, so he gets hurt. All right, then this guy's dead, so someone else gets hurt as well. Him, he do, okay. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be weird. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, yeah, I mean, he's gonna, blo he's probably gonna block in the left lane there. I don't really, yeah, when a trick is played, you get plus one, plus one. So I kind of want to be over here, because if he plays a trick, then he's going to be boosted enough to destroy that chicken guy, so that's cool. And if he doesn't play a trick, then, you know, Double Mint still does eight. He's probably going to block the eight. Oh, he did a trick. Wow. He didn't do the trick. I thought I thought he was going to put something in the lane to the left. Man, these, that guy's getting boosted, man. You're giving me a freebie here. The good news, he's probably going to block this. Sadly. Ah, oh, Plank gets minus three. That's a trick, right? So he gets boosted and then he's a two six, so, you know, whatever. He finally did some damage to me, it's 18 to 10. Now this is the beauty of it here. Um, man, if he plays something, I get to do uh, four damage to each zombie, which is beautiful. I hope he plays something in that lane that you know, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, beautiful. I love this so much right now. Oh my God, I finally get to show this off. Look at this. Look at this, Colonel Corn coming in. Boom, that is awesome. Oh my God, move a plant. Who are you gonna move? <laughs> Who are you gonna move? <laughs> that one, of course. Man, the next turn when I do the bonus attack though, it's just gonna be beautiful. Oh, he's gonna do a bo why? Why him do a bonus attack? Like, what does it matter? <laughs> what does it even matter? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm happy. The reason I'm happy 
is obvious. Uh, so, 32, 32 right there. This is almost more like a doubled mint video, but I, I've had more success with double mint. But man, that corn was instrumental. I was so glad to have been able to play Colonel Corn finally. Now, here's the thing. He's not really expecting me to do much. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the corn a little boost here. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is, uh, you know, you get plus one, plus one, do a bonus attack. Might as well give it to the mushroom. Victory! <laughs> Man, I've had such... Okay. I'm so glad that I won, like, every match here. And I'm so glad that it, the playing the, the corn finally paid off. And I'm so glad I was able to finally play the corn. You know, the other rounds I won too soon. And, you know, really, like, he was doing a good job battling what I was putting out. And the Colonel Corn was a lifesaver there. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next time for some more Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. And if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.